hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to decorate my tear tray for easter okay so this is everything that i have that i think i can use on my tear tray i don't believe I will be using all of it but this is what I have to work with um, and I think it's enough I have a two-tiered tray so my eggs my carrots those will uh, be as fillers and then I have some risers here in case I need some height and then here my little spoons from the Target dollar spot. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I pretty much hauled all of this and told you where it's from. But if you don't, and if you have any questions, feel free to comment below if you have a question as to where something's from. This little birdhouse, I just DIY'd it the other day. It's absolutely adorable. It's from the Dollar Tree and I just painted it, gave it a little rustic look and just put some little moss in there but yeah this is what I'm working with these are my bunnies I also talked about these little doilies when I went thrifting the other day I found those so let's get started on decorating my Easter tear tray Okay, this is very messy. As you can see, it's all over my table. Um, yeah, so, but I'm thinking it's gonna look really pretty, that pop of green. It's just very messy to take it out of the bag and spread it on the tray, but I just wanted to show you that if you do use this, beware. So I want to start with this mug, it's a real statement piece, how cute, I was going to put it in the bottom but it doesn't fit. There's really no rhyme or reason to the way I do this, I just kind of eyeball it so bear with me on that. I think this bunny is going to look so cute on this, like he's on the grass. How cute. So I am planning on making this tray mostly bunnies. So I think this sign is going to be perfect show you I got this last year off of Hobby Lobby's like 90% off clearance after Easter and it's super cute and I think it's gonna look really cute with all the bunnies so up here now I am going to put blues in here as well and yellows I have this little blue mug. I'm sorry about the lighting from Hobby Lobby. And this cutie is also gonna make it in this tray. So yeah, for Easter, I definitely wanted it. All the pastels, the pinks, the blues, the yellows, the greens. So let's see what I come up with on this side. Okay, so I'm going to put this little pedestal here, because I am going to put my little birdhouse that I DIY'd, and I added this little butterfly just now. The little stickers from Dollar Tree, I'm gonna show you them in a minute, but I just thought it looked so cute, like a little butterfly landing on the little house. 
Now put that there. Cut this little mini bowl that I got last year from Walmart, the Pioneer Woman uh, line. And put that here, kind of not like perfectly placed. And then I'm gonna put the little mug on top of that. Then I'm thinking I'm gonna put um, little eggs in there. So yeah, I think the top I'm going to leave it like this with um, adding the eggs falling out. And then I'll bring you down to the bottom to finish that. So I added these two little bunnies that I found at Dollar General. They're so cute. And I think I'm also going to leave this side as is. I might incorporate some eggs scattered around or some carrots, but I'm gonna turn this around because you, where I place this, you do see a little bit of the back part. So I have to decorate the back for that as well. So this is like the area over here and on the top a little bit, I'll show you, is what you can see. Uh, so I have to put something there. So I'm thinking I'm going to put this Ray Dunn tumbler. Okay. <laughs> I had to play around with that a little bit. And then I think I'm going to put this little plush bunny inside. I think he'll look really cute. This is what it looks like so far. So this is like the angle that you can see it. I like that. Now I have to put something to go back there. I also got these last year at Hobby Lobby on their 90% off clearance. And I think I'm going to put them in the back over here. There's a blank space over here. So I think this is going to go here. Just to kind of fill the space in. I'm sure I'll play around with this, but yeah. <laughs> you can't really see it from that angle, but I'll show you guys in a second. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Kind of want to cover this little area. I'll see what I do with that. But yeah, this is what it looks like right now. And I think that's enough for back here. So like I said, it just, you see a, like this angle only, so it's not a big deal. And then over here, I'm just gonna add, I believe I'm going to do little eggs or I have more carrots, but I don't know. So I'll think about that. And so let me turn this around. This is what it's looking like so far. I apologize again. I know the lighting is weird, but this is what it's looking like so far. And you can see the carrots now from here. And I, I like the way that looks. I like that the green pops out on the side behind the bunny. And then you can still see the carrots from this angle as well. Okay, let me do some fillers. I'm gonna use these as fillers, also from Hobby Lobby. Last year, they're 90% off sale. I feel like my whole tray is just about Hobby Lobby. Sorry guys, I thought I was recording, but I must have stopped recording. But this is what it's looking like with the eggs coming out of the mug. I think that looks cute. Okay. Yeah, that looks cute. I just want to put some eggs scattered around here. Put some there. Now, 
never know how much is enough. You know, you don't want to put too much and you don't want to put too little. enough like do I need something on this little spot here I could put but I don't think I want to put more eggs I think I can maybe put um, a couple of these carrots okay I'm going to film the final product two ways with light and without because I'm not sure which way is going to translate better on the video so here we go so this is the final product this is how it's going to stay and i'm very happy with it i mean i might play around with it as i usually do but let me show you the top i ended up putting those three little carrots there that little packet i showed you was from dollar tree and yes this is the big statement piece on the tray of course i'm sure you guys have all seen it everybody seems to have that mug and then here is my mini mug with the mini bowl and the eggs coming out i really like the way this came out with my little birdhouse there in the back and then here is the bottom my little bunny crossing themed tray I really like the way this came out too with all my different bunnies. It's like they're all in a little Easter egg hunt. And I'm going to show you the back in a minute. Here I've just filled in this little gap with some white eggs and some more of the little miniature ones. As I said, this is like the angle that you can see the back part. You can't see it like full view back. It's just from this angle where I place this tray. So I just wanted to focus on this side. And I think this came out really cute with the little plaid. Sorry, I have the window open, guys. So if you hear noise, that's what it is. And this is the plaid bunny with the Ray Dunn mug or tumbler with the carrots here, which I love. Again, you guys know if you've been around, I love adding texture, pops of color, and I think this tray pretty much does that. So let me show you one more overview with the lights on. Okay, <laughs> lights are on, not sure if it makes much difference with the lighting, but okay. So this is it guys, this is my Easter tier tray. I hope I've given you some inspiration. If you haven't done yours yet, or if you plan on doing one. I forgot I bought this little bird's nest not too long ago from Hobby Lobby. So I took out the eggs that I had here and I put the bird nest here. Okay guys, I forgot that I had these little yellow eggs. And I think that was the final touch this tray needed to kind of give it a little bit more color and also for to bring in the yellow from the gingham bunny in the back. Yeah, I, I forgot I had this bag of yellow eggs. So I just put a few here and there and I think that makes a difference. Okay, <laughs> now I'm done. If you enjoy videos like this, guys, please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.